Today we welcome AFC Bournemouth to Huddersfield Town as we look to pick up some momentum at the John Smith Stadium. Despite Town's position at the bottom, he's found Pritchard who takes it and turns and lifts it over the bar. He's, definitely, uh, he's, not, he's not scared to get forward and get shots off. Fraser finds Wilson in space, Wilson drives it, it's blocked. The ball in field towards David Brooks and a 1-2 with Fraser, releases Brooks again. Another space in midfield for Bournemouth and he pokes it round the outside, 2-1-1. On one. Fraser's in the box, he's gone for goal, it's chested into the back of the net by Callum Wilson on his return from injury. Quick and drank. Catch Bournemouth out. Into the last five first half minutes. A cross field ball by Brooks finds King who volleys it wide. A cut pass across the field finds Lover. It's headed away initially for Pritchard who serves it up to Bakuna and Bakuna. Any sort of <laughs> I mean, problem with Solanke plays the ball through. Wilson turns it. Fraser. Goal. Bournemouth to kill the game off in the Cherries' favour. Despite Huddersfield Town now, King straightens up with Klein to his right and Wilson to his left. King's in the box and he shoots and it's parried by Lussell. That was flying in, and Elias Kashunga is going to come off to be replaced by a similar wide attacking player, Aaron Rowe. Yeah, excellent. I mean, it's great to see that Seaver's looking at the, the youth He's team wide on this left hand side. Fake run by Fraser, fake run by Daniels. Fraser's ball far post. It's headed goal, which off the line by Zanka. They're juggling it. They've blocked it on the line themselves, Bournemouth. I think. <laughs> Difficult to take. Um, weren't at the races. I think we controlled the ball again, but you know, like I said, uh, clinical. They were clinical and uh, killed the game. My well, immediate thought is that I'm. Not that I feel sorry for everyone who came here today because uh, the first half was not acceptable for me and I didn't like the performance at all so I spoke to the players in half time, they responded to it, they reacted and then the game, uh, the second goal killed it so yeah, I'm definitely not happy today. 